The suspect sprayed a substance onto the victim. This gave the chicken nugget control over them. An object designed to control someone can be considered a dangerous weapon. This will land the suspect a possession of a dangerous weapon charge. Although there was no physical harm shown during the video, the victim had been psychologically manipulated to follow the chicken nugget. For this, a psychological abuse charge will be added. The convict will be given a total of 10 years behind bars. Bro got that get a jetty get a jadego riz. <laughs> Both the monkey and chicken nugget were using the Red Cross. The cross is meant to be a trusted symbol for medical aid. As stated in the Geneva Convention, falsely using the Red Cross is a war crime. This is an offense recognized internationally, which is prosecuted by the International Criminal Court. Violating these laws are some of the most serious crimes to be committed. They will both receive a death sentence, totaling to two death sentences. I'm gonna take my car to the McDonald's. I'm gonna eat till I can't no more. I'm gonna take my car to the McDonald's. This video should be self-explanatory. The two had slapped the victim with spatula. Intentionally hitting someone with a spatula is battery. If injuries were reported, additional charges or fines may be added. Queso did not seem to take any damage. Both of the suspects will receive a battery charge. Each of them will receive a four-year sentence. They will be locked up for a total of eight years. safety gear such as hard hats is required to operate a mine. In the video, neither the monkey nor the TV man were wearing any safety gear. This could result in life-threatening injuries. The mine is also missing support beams, which could lead to the upper portion caving in. They will be fined $200,000 for violating basic occupational safety procedures. The mine will need to be shut down. What? Help me! Although flickering a light switch may not be a crime itself, they can be charged for being a public nuisance. The flickering lights disturb the victim, leading them to exit the bathroom. We could clearly see the victim's frightened facial expression. Intentionally causing an unwanted disturbance is disorderly. Additional harassment charges can be added depending on the circumstances. The chicken nugget will face a $150 fine. The Smurf cat had clearly stolen a significant amount of money. In order to figure out the value, we need to know the quantity of diamonds stolen. If we assume the volume of the garbage bin is the standard 32 gallons, the amount of diamonds required to fill half the bin would equate to somewhere around $5 billion. Walking away with $5 billion worth of stolen diamonds is grand theft. The Smurf cat will receive a lifetime behind bars. sense for a parent to pay attention to their children, especially near a busy road. The dog ran into the street to push the stroller out of the way. In this case, the owner's negligence resulted in the unaliving of the animal. I will charge the parent with child endangerment and animal cruelty. They will lose custody of the child and face three years of probation for neglecting the dog. Okay, let's go. Talk into the and students broke the glass windows by screaming. According to Google, a sound would need to reach 105 decibels to break glass. The noise could have interfered with the public's peace. I will give all three of them a disturbing the peace charge. They will each receive an additional vandalism charge for damaging the window. A fine totaling to $3,000 will be enforced. Me. The 
dog grabbed toys from the machine with her snout. Reaching into an arcade machine to steal prizes is theft. I counted a total of six stolen items. It is safe to assume the toys were worth less than $1,000, classifying it as petty theft. If damage was done to the machine, additional repair costs may be enforced. The dog will face a $500 fine for petty theft. See that both the victims had been replaced with ashes. After the flashes, we could see burn marks on the cat. Based on this information, it would be safe to assume the cat had used some type of explosive device to unalive the victim. I will charge them with two counts of first-degree murder, as they cannot unalive someone for holding up a line. The cat will be given two life sentences. Farting in an elevator is not a crime. In this case, the fart was strong enough to bother Huggy Wuggy throughout the whole elevator ride. Purposefully farting to force someone out of an elevator could count as disorderly conduct or public nuisance. This irritated the victims to the point where one had to flee the elevator. The monkey will face a $150 fine for public nuisance. Sign posted at the back tells us this was some type of lab. A button was pressed repeatedly, causing cats and skibidi toilets to fall from above. This can be illegal, as this type of animal testing is inhumane. Two cats were dropped from the ceiling, leading to two animal cruelty charges. Since there was a human inside the skibidi toilet, this will lead to a battery charge. The convict will be locked up for eight years. Menacing involves actions or threats that cause someone to feel fear of harm, such as physical violence. The delivery driver banged on the door and looked down at the victim furiously. Based on the body language, it could have caused fear of harm. This could have easily escalated to an assault or battery. The delivery driver will be given two years of probation for menacing. put a massive snake on the monkey's bed for revenge. The snake was able to wrap itself around the victim, causing the monkey to scream. A snake of this strength can easily unalive someone. After seeing the monkey, the cat continued to laugh without any remorse. This meant it was most likely a murder attempt. The cat will be thrown behind bars for 40 years for first-degree attempted murder. Wuggy was hit in the face with a roll of newspaper. Although the three seemed to be friends, it could still be considered assault. Getting hit with newspaper would most likely not lead to serious injury. In this case, Huggy Wuggy even smiled after the assault. If the three were only playing, the culprit may not get charged. In the instance of an assault, the monkey will receive a year of probation.